For those of you that follow this channel, you may recognize that we've covered vitamin C intravenously in regard to the treatment of sepsis prior. I believe this is the third uh, clinical trial that we've covered in regard to that type of treatment. But before I proceed, what we're looking at here is really secondary outcomes. I'm not particularly a fan of secondary outcomes, but the researchers were trying to get a gauge on how vitamin C works. So what they were looking at was the biomarkers in regard to organ failure over a 168 hour period of time. In the primary outcome, no difference between, between the vitamin C group and the placebo group. However, the statistically significant survival outcomes and reduction in the hospital stays are truly worthy of note and need to be explored further. Henceforth, consider this information exploratory. But let's get right into the research as follows, and it is fascinating, and you'll understand more why in a second, because the treatment time is so short, yet the benefits yielded are so great. To proceed as follows, vitamin C therapy linked to better for survival rates after sepsis. New research led by Virginia Commonwealth University and published in the October issue of the Journal of American Medical Association suggests that patients with sepsis and septic lung injury could have a better chance of survival and recover more quickly when treated with vitamin C infusions. Take a few excerpts here from the, full, from the public study. Researchers discovered that the intravenous vitamin C therapy reduced mortality in septic patients from 46% of the placebo group to almost 30% in the vitamin C group at day 28. Day 28. To put that in perspective is this. They gave intravenous vitamin C, which I'll give you the dosages in a little bit, every six hours for only 96 hours. You get 28 days out, benefits yielded. The benefits yielded from that short durational treatment with that significant to proceed. On average, the vitamin C group spent three fewer days in the ICU, seven days compared to 10 at day 28, and a week less in the hospital overall, when you, 15 days versus 22, even when they got up to 60 days compared to the placebo group. All right, let's go right into the full study, which adds a few more dimensions onto how vitamin C may be doing what it's doing to proceed. Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, ARDS, is a common sepsis-associated organ injury and results in significant mortality. For instance, the Lung Safe study reported 34 to 45% mortality. Despite advances in understanding mechanisms that lead to ARDS, disease-modifying uh, disease strategies have not improved outcomes. Previous research found that vitamin C attenuates systemic inflammation, corrects sepsis induced coagulo coagulopathy and attenuates vascular injury in the one say industry injury all right now yet still keep in mind as you go towards the bottom there vitamin c is still classified as an investigational drug by the food and drug administration but to proceed as follows among the 46 secondary outcomes remember the primary outcome turned out to be no different they were examined in the trial. 43 showed no significant differences between the vitamin C group and the placebo group. Although vitamin C compared with placebo was associated with significant reduction in 28 day all cause mortality. That is just with 96 hours of intravenous treatment, it reduced all cause mortality. Let's proceed. And with significantly increased ICU free days to day 28 and hospital free days to day 60. Now, I'm going to go into some limitations in regard to the study. Now, without adding publisher bias, the researchers here believe they may have received better outcomes if they use a slightly higher dosage. But again, exploratory to proceed as follows and without adding publisher bias, real important. Fourth. The dosage of vitamin C used in this trial was 50 milligrams a kilogram every six hours for 96 hours. It may be insufficient for optimal care of sepsis-associated ARDS. Higher vitamin C dosages or longer administration times may have produced different results. So, if you think about it this way, what if they would have just continued the intravenous vitamin C to the point of full recovery? How fast would recovery be? B, or how much better would the odds of survival be if they just continued the vitamin C up to that point in time? That's what's meant by exploratory, and that has to be further researched. Again, the DOI citation will be listed. Oh, by the way, 
We will look at the original studies in regard to sepsis that we covered over the, you know, the couple we did over the past five years. They're right here uh, on the YouTube site. I'll include the links on the YouTube site. But in the meantime, the important part, the DOI citation is going to be there. The links to this current study uh, will be on the YouTube site as well. And as always, I hope you find this information valuable. If not now, maybe in the future. But thank you. Thank you very much for listening. And I look forward to see you all once again in seven days, as always. Again, Ralph Channel signing off, and thank you. Catch you next time. Bye.